Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at how to set up a home network. In this episode specifically, we're taking a look at Powerline. Now, Powerline networking is a form of networking that is a good alternative in the cases where the usual suspects won't work. So for example, there's wired networking, which we talked about in an earlier episode. You have your router and you have your device and you have a wire that connects the two directly to each other. Then there's wireless networking, which you'll have, again, the router sending out a wireless signal, and then the notebook, which is receiving wireless, but in this case, it's too far away from the router in order to receive a clean signal, so it doesn't actually work. This is where power line networking comes in. It's called power line because it uses the power lines inside your own house. It's a good alternative because it actually goes anywhere that your electrical grid in the house works and basically turns your wiring system into a gigantic ethernet cable. And what you require is a device, an adapter at both ends. So we've got two devices here, one for the computer end and one for the ethernet port. So right now we've got a connection between this and this. So we're going to take this into another area of the house. So we'll disconnect this from here and we'll plug it into one of these devices. So each of these power line devices typically has two connectors. It's got the prongs for connecting into your power grid, and it's got an ethernet port for connecting into your home network. So the first step is to take your power line adapter and connect it to the ethernet cable coming from the router. So we've got this connected here, and we're going to connect it into this adapter. So the next step is to plug it into the wall, like so. Now we're using an extension cable here it's worth noting that you can't use this with power bars because power bars have circuitry inside that will actually strip out the networking signal and corrupt it. The next step, of course, is to connect your notebook computer into the same network. So you've got the other adapter, and you always need at least two of these to make a network. You'll plug cable into the bottom of the, this adapter. And you'll plug it into the device in question. And then again, you'll plug this into the power somehow. Not a power bar, but an extension cord is typically fine. So now you've got these two devices here that are sending the data from one to the other over the power connectors. Now there's a couple downsides to this. So the first one, as I mentioned already, is that you can't use power bars with this. So if you've already maxed out the outlets in the neighborhood of your router, you'll want to find another way to get this connected directly into the wall. You may need a longer ethernet cable and string it into another area of the same room. The other thing you may want to consider is that the wiring inside your house may actually connect to wiring outside your house. So for example, if you're in an apartment building, the person in the suite next to you may actually be able to receive your signal. So if they plugged one of these in, they may actually get access to your network. Typically rare, but it is possible. I've also seen situations where it actually traveled between houses from one to the next. Now there's typically transformers outside on the poles and that will typically put an end to the signal at the very least. Modern houses are wired in a way so that typically it will actually stop at your house so it won't even go outside to the next house. But it is something to consider if you are a bit paranoid about your security. You may not want to do this if you know that the people next door are also using power line networking. Anyhow, that's a look at power line networking. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you how to connect other types of devices to your home network.